is it worth giving an audition even if I don't match the technical requirements that voice seekers want? The short answer is no, do not do that. The most important skill that you as a voice actor needs to have is the ability to listen and take direction. And if you audition for a casting notice when you don't match the specs, the only thing they know about you is that you don't know how to listen and that you do not know how to take direction. So please do not do that. Only audition for things that you match the casting specs. Next question. What casting profile do you think can get you the most bookings in VO work? That's not a question that can be answered uh, as a, in the abstract because everybody's mileage will vary wildly with different casting sites, both free casting sites and pay-to-play sites. Also, different casting sites are a better fit for different kinds of voice actors. Badalgo, for example, which is a Germany-based uh, pay-to-play site, is better in general for European voice actors. However, there are some American voice actors that do get work on there as well. So I encourage you to do your research, ask questions, look at testimonials. If it's a free site, you know, upload your demos and give it a shot. If it's a pay to play site, you know, maybe subscribe for the lowest tier and just see how it goes. Next question. Can great gigs come from non pay to play sites? Well, great. I'm assuming that means can great gig, can great gigs come from pay to play sites? Yes. Great gigs can come from pay to play sites. But the question is, what is what's the definition of great? Does great mean uh, uh, gigs that you can get based on the genre of voiceover that you want to do? Cartoons, video games, audiobooks. Is it the exposure or status, you know, the visibility of the gig? Is it the amount of money that you can make for the gig? Um, yeah, there's a lot of industry standard, well-paying voiceover projects that are cast on pay-to-play sites, ones that are commensurate with the industry standard of non-union, that being the Global Voice Acting Academy rate guide. So yeah, there's great gigs that come from there. There's also, now, if if the if the person who emailed me this said, can great gigs come from non-pay-to-play sites, as in online casting sites that are free, the answer is also yes. I am on dozens of online casting sites of uh of, that are all over the world and there are uh there's at least one of them that i have been on for over 10 years and i regularly make thousands of dollars on it so yes there are all kinds of great uh gigs to be had on all kinds of casting sites both pay to play and free this last one isn't actually a question it was more of a statement but i wanted to address the uh, statement so this person wrote, I was actually using Voice123 and just recently stopped it. After six months, I was only able to afford a lower tier and did not get several invites to audition. And did get several invites to audition, excuse me. However, the auditions that I received were usually within an hour of closing and at very odd times of the night. Granted, I did quite a few auditions in a rush and didn't get many, if any at all. Again, I can't afford the higher level tiers for that site, and I'm looking at others now. VO Planet is one as they do the auditioning differently. Okay, so I wanted to explain how Voice123 works when it comes to subscriptions versus invites. So Voice123 has, I think, eight or nine different subscription tiers from zero, a free site uh, profile, to $5,000 and a whole bunch in between of varying prices. If you think of Voice123 as Google, and if you think of your Voice123 profile as your website, you often, well, often voice actors pay money to increase the search engine optimization or SEO of their website, which is where you usually pay someone or you do various things to increase the search ranking. So when someone goes on Google or Bing or Yahoo and they type in search terms, your website is more likely to come up. On Voice123, there's a direct correlation between the price of the subscription tier and the amount of times that your Voice123 profile will show up in a search. If you go to the, the membership page on Voice123.com, you it shows you explicitly how often your profile will show up in searches on Voice123. If you are paying nothing or paying for a very low tier, then yes, that it will happen to you that you will get casting notices very close to closing. The reason why is because when casting notices are posted on Voice123, those who pay the top tier, $5,000 uh, tier, will get access to the casting notice first. Then a little time will pass, then those on the $2,200 tier will get to audition, 
then the eight eighty eight dollar the eighty eight hundred the eight hundred eighty eight dollar tier, and then everyone below that until the time runs out. Most of the time, by time the time runs out, the audition has been over auditioned, and that happens, and it comes at very odd times of the night because that's just how the algorithm that's just how the algorithm works. So I hope that addresses some of the questions that you may have about online casting sites in general and pay-to-play sites in particular. If you have any other questions about online casting sites, pay-to-play sites, marketing, business, and the voiceover industry, do not hesitate to book a free 15-minute consult with me at vostrategist.com. Check out all the other products and services that I offer. Like this video, subscribe to me on YouTube, connect with me on Instagram and LinkedIn, and stay cool, stay safe, and happy voicing. Thank you.